Hello there, Libra, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. So Libra, we're going to go ahead and find out what you need to know right now about your current situation. Oh, okay. We got quite a, we got quite a few things going on now, don't we? Okay. We got a lot of work or we got a lot of focus here on money, finances, whatever, career, projects, business. You're waiting for something. Um, okay, Libra, you are being asked right now to disconnect. I feel some of you Libras have already been tending to something and Spirit is saying you've done enough. So just kind of relax, okay? And enjoy the fruits of your labor. Take some time out to disconnect from the world or social media. Uh, however it fits in your situation, uh, Libra, this might be a time where maybe you want to stay at home more if you're out a lot or, you know, put this in your situation, but it's time to disconnect. Okay. So, uh, yeah, like I was talking about, maybe for some it's social media or, you know, just taking time to listen to oneself. Okay. We, there may be a retreat here, um, for some of you, and it's not just about spending time by yourself. Cause I do see another person here, Libra. So, you know, um, a partner, a friend, um, you know, one or a few people here that maybe for some of you Libras, it might be time to that spirit is saying, make sure that you are <clears throat> taking time out for yourself. Okay. Um, especially if you've been doing a lot of work lately, you know, or, uh, persevering in a situation. So it might be time to take a little vacation or, uh, for some, you could find yourself doing some type of spiritual retreat. Okay. And spirit is saying when it comes to your love life, Libra divine timing is at work. So you need to stay optimistic about your situation. It might be hard right now to believe or to have positive thinking, so just be aware of the thoughts that are going on. And, and Libra, if you do find yourself, you know, second guessing or doubting yourself when it comes to your love life, you need to throw that away. You need to replace it with something positive. Okay. So your angels are saying they have been working behind the scenes, Libra, to bring you a good situation when it comes to your love life. And I am seeing you getting playful here with another. Okay. So you know, a reminder here to take a retreat or a vacation or a little trip. Okay. Uh, do something here because I, I you know, <laughs> it is interesting because it is about a retreat, but it's also like a way to connect as well. So you might find through some type of trip or retreat, you might find um, a friend here, or you might find something when it comes to your love life, because to recapture romance, you need to, you know, you need to get playful again. I do feel that for some of you, it's been, you know, labor here, right? We've been working, we've been doing things and, or we've been maybe for some Libras, not all of you, there could be some obsession here about finances or, you know, other things, material uh, matters here. Um, but allow your imagination to get playful too, when it comes to what can be fun for you, Libra. Okay. So spirit is saying, just uh, get back to a place of joy or being lighthearted about a situation. Okay. Cause I feel for some of you Libras, there may be something here where it's like feeling like we're waiting is, is causing this uh, sense of holding back from progress. Okay. So getting playful puts you in, um, the right mood and also getting, I was going to say something about friends. So I do get a thing about, you know, connecting with others that feel good to you. Now I don't see Libra, you with a lot of people. There's just like two other people here. Oh no, maybe there are three over here, over here and a little angel. Um, so Libra, allow yourself to receive some love pampering, uh, you know, something from your friends or people right now, be willing to accept gifts from others or, uh, help from others. Maybe even when it comes to your love life. Okay. <laughs> but remember, you know, we can only do so much because spirit is saying <laughs> divine timing is at work in your love life. We do have something going on here about a past life relationship. Oh, it is your soulmate too. Okay. Wow. Okay. What's going on with this card here? So Libra, there is a situation here where, um, if you haven't connected with someone there, there's going to be someone that 
you're going to really resonate with. And it may be like, a, you know, a, such a strong bond that you, um, you may even have past life or shared past life memories here. So, uh, yeah, somehow you have known each other before Libra. So you don't need to doubt that this is your soulmate. Now there was a strong thing that wanted to come out with this soulmate card. So let's find out what it is, what, what wants to come out with this soulmate card? So observe in silence. So we're not pushing anything. We're not doing very much, but we're observing. We're in a place of watching. Okay. So we got this thing about, you know, time to disconnect from the world. Hmm. And I do see someone there too, Libra. So, um, whatever is going on, spirit is saying that the answers are coming from within. Uh, you will see something here too. So observe in silence. So I feel it's all about receiving, receiving help, receiving guidance, receiving some time with friends, especially you um, workaholics out there, time for friends. Okay. Time to socialize a little bit. Okay. But it's in a way that you're not being distracted or bombarded with too much stuff going on or too many energies here. Cause I do just see like, you know, again, there's like three other people here at the most, but do what feels right for you, Libra. Okay. You may need to recharge your batteries, uh, batteries. Cause I feel some of you Libras when it comes to work or things that you're really focused on that you tend to, um, I, I feel that it's important for you to, you know, disconnect from that, recharge your batteries here so you can approach things, um, from a different perspective and, or just, you know, have, uh, have better results here because we are taking some time out to get, um, re-energized, playful. Okay. So let's see here. So observe in silence when it comes to this past life relationship, you've known each other before when it comes to the soulmate, what else does Libra need to know? of wands. Hmm. I feel that this is about doing something different here, Libra, and, and, and really just going for it. I feel that some of you Libras are wanting to do something or express something or have something that helps you guys, you know, not hold back here. Hmm. I want a little bit more with this, um, heart of wands. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because I do feel some of you Libras, you may need to take a little bit of a break here, uh, especially for those that, again, that are maybe workaholics or, you know, you have to utilize a lot of creative uh, skills here. Um, you know, you don't want to burn yourself out either. So spirit is saying, take some time to retreat so that you can get, um, fresh new ideas as well. Okay. Um, but there is a person here, Libra. Hmm. I feel, yeah, I feel some of you Libras have gone through something here where, you know, you're, um, you may have felt tested by someone here, especially when it comes to your own confidence in things, but let's get, let's get a little bit more of this heart of wands for Libra. Take time to reflect. Yeah, I feel that there's something strong about you um, accessing uh, some powerful creative ideas or getting the answers that you seek here. Um, some of you Libras, there's something turning around for you. So um, I feel when it comes to 
anchoring some type of new self-confidence or self-worth or understanding your value and your gifts, um, you're going to need that time to reflect here, uh, Libra, but you need to trust that um, there is something sparking here with this um, Queen of Wands. So I see a lot of success with, uh, you know, things that you um, feel inspired to take action on. Okay. But it is time to reflect here because I feel some of you Libras, you've been tending to things. And so spirit is saying it's time to do something a little bit different right now. Okay. Uh, what else for Libra? And also Libra, this is a general reading. So if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out uh, past messages. If you feel like it, those are all timeless. Nurture all you love. Oh, and look at that. We have somebody who's tending to things here. But also nurture all those that you love, including yourself here, right? What else for Libra? Because I feel that there is something that you do and create or that you take a lead on here, Libra, that spirit is saying, uh, just love it and love where you're at right now, okay? Because your opportunity... Uh, to access uh, more things is always going to be available. Never forget that. So shedding the old. Okay, there is change coming your way. So Libra, you know, I am noticing this is like a fox. Isn't this like a fox? Here's a fox here. So this might be a time that we need to adapt to changes, right? So maybe think on your feet here as time goes on. So cultivate a sense of adventure so you will be able to see the new prospects. Okay, so Spirit is saying take some time out, Libra, because you're going to be um, you're going to be able to see these new prospects. And remember what Spirit was saying about some a soulmate here. Observe in silence. Okay. So you are shedding the old. So nurture the things that you love and just focus on that, Libra, <clears throat> because I do feel that there may be or there has been for some of you, Libras, a situation where we got really fired up or maybe even angered here, okay? Um, some of you, Libras, may have felt, uh, you know, you, some of you, Libras, might even, if you're not feeling it like it now, you might see this later where you didn't realize where things uh, things or people were holding you back when it came to you know full self-expression in a way that libra that it, you take authority in though because this is a mature energy we do have the queen of wands here there may be a situation for some of you that you dealt with some type of jealousy uh, maybe from another or another female for some of you guys okay Maybe some of you Libras had to like endure that as well, but I see a lot of you, you know, you're able to, to see it for what it is and uh, just become better. So no worries on that Libra, because I feel spirit is gifting you something when it comes to your abilities to really go after or create what you want. Some of you Libras may need to take a little time to, um, be bold with some of these requests too that you want or that you envision for yourself, okay? Because I also see this uh, fox being very focused here. Very, very focused. Let's see, what else does Libra need to know? The gift of neutral, uh, uh, neutral, <laughs> neutrality. Okay. This kind of um, rings like justice card to me, <clears throat> Libra, which is, you know, about balance here, which is, you know, your zodiac sign too. So Libra balances at work in your life. Yin and yang are opposites in energy, but reside side by side to create the gift of neutral, uh, neutrality. Uh, and we have this time for reflect and look, we've got this thing about side by side, the feminine and the masculine. So some of you Libras may have found yourself having to do 
or take on more of either the masculine or feminine energies in pursuit of things or to accomplish things. And now spirit is saying a lot of you Libras are stepping into a sense of being neutral, okay? Um, where things are just really easy and where new growth can happen as well. And also Libra, where you feel very fluid with life, okay? So I feel that you need to, um, I'm just seeing you as this Nautilus here. This is, this is you, Libra. I feel that this shell is this like divine protection and you're, you're being carried to, you know, the currents are carrying you here. So all you need to do is take some time to reflect. Okay. And, oh, we got, we do have setting up permit, uh, permit, ah, perimeters, perimeters. <laughs> okay. If I can talk here, uh, access. Okay. Hmm. Now we got this thing about time to reflect. Okay, assess your relationships, Libra, and determine how they are aligned with your goals. You know, Libra, I really get justice card coming through for you. Yeah, I feel this is about you figuring out and honoring what aligns with your purpose, with your goals. Okay, don't be afraid to set up boundaries. Okay, setting boundaries requ requires an honest evaluation of your present relationships. Hmm. So present relationships with people and also I see present relationships with, you know, your work or things that you're focused on projects, having, you know, a balance of things, even our passions, right? Having those under control as well. <laughs> so this is a good time to reflect and be in a state of observation and not and non-judgmental is what spirit is saying because this is about not relearning a lesson or feeling bad about something this is about feeling powerful and feeling good where you're at um and realizing that you are allowed to set up the boundaries that you need to okay you're allowed to have uh, these limits here what else for libra Eight of Wands. There is something going on here with fast moving energy here. Okay. Communication as well, Libra. So I feel Libra, there may be a lot going on or there has been a lot going on. So you may need to work hard at setting up boundaries. Okay. But I feel that spirit is guiding you guys into the right direction here. Now expect some type of news. Uh, Libra, let's get a little bit more too. I want a little bit more with this eight of wands, please. We've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming through. I want a little bit more with this eight of wands for Libra. <clears throat> Trust also Libra that you're able to take on whatever you need to. Okay. Because I see some opportunities here. Let's get a little bit more with this Eight of Wands for Libra. Your love life is being affected by your children. So there's some communication coming to you. Some of you Libras, your spirit guides, your ancestors are letting you know in the heavens above. They're talking to you about, you know, for some of you Libras, letting go some uh, of something or allowing yourself to fully heal because i do see a lot of you libras have been and are currently letting go of any healing when it comes to family issues but there may be something here especially with some of you mom and dads out there uh, not all of you libras are mom and dads i know so don't take this but um you know i feel there's something about releasing guilt or worry okay being in the present moment here having fun with life there's some type of acceleration that spirit is saying is taking place Libra when uh, family issues, forgiving and learning, um, is necessary. Okay. So if something has been a struggle for some of you Libras, or if you had to have a pause in life to really have to reflect, um, it's in, it's actually accelerating something here. Okay. For the benefit of you and your outcome. So, I see some of you Libras, you might be um, feeling a little bit of, you know, uh, some type of uh, energies that, you know, aren't maybe haven't been so aligned <laughs> with being positive. Maybe there has been some negativity towards a parent or both parents here or the lack of. Okay. But there's a strong sense of a lesson learned. Okay. So 
I do feel Libra, you have learned something. It's just about bringing yourself to the present moment because it's almost like this, there may be a past memory that keeps lurking. So spirit is saying, observe in silence and you'll be able to catch it as well. But also there's something about being in the present moment. Okay. So that when opportunity strikes, we can take it. Okay. Cause you're going to have more than one opportunity here. So expect some type of communication as well for some of you Libras when it comes to maybe family or um, some of you Libras are getting communication from your ancestors too about healing traditions or things that need to be healed within the bloodline here that um, a lot of you Libras, um, you know, came to earth to do because you are a strong soul like that. Okay. Let's see what else for Libra. distinctive potential rely on your faith and knowledge that nothing is impossible so we need to be aware of our thoughts right now libra so we have to just be quite honest with ourselves too that yes when we give into negative thinking it's gonna you know it's gonna be your job to be aware of that and to switch it right but use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal so you know i was seeing this like fox just looking at something here so i do see um this thing about having this goal here right and not allowing anything to discourage you so hang in there libra until a goal is realized so spirit is wanting to prove something to you libra spirit wants to prove something to you and what that does is help strengthen that connection as well right with you in the spiritual realm and keeps getting stronger and stronger. What else? Time for celebration. Nice. See, Libra, I do feel that this time to enjoy, uh, you know, what you have right now. And trust for a lot of you Libras, whatever you've been putting your effort towards, it's paying off here. Okay. So we have time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work. I mean, look at this. We have someone who is working hard, tending to their garden here. Okay. So we've hit a milestone. We've come to a sense of completion. Um, some of you Libras, uh, we've got something around a house here. Realize, okay. Re oh, realize yourself. I just wanted to, it was supposed to be release yourself from burdensome situations. <laughs> yeah. Realize yourself Libra and release yourself from burdensome situations. So this is a time that you are re you know, you really do need to see, uh, something that is, you know, needing to be shed here. Now, a lot of you Libras, you're, you are doing this and you are currently doing it. But for some of you Libras, we have to let go of some type of burden. Maybe we are, maybe we're working on, you know, maybe too much or there, there's some, there, there, there's something that needs to be balanced so that we can enter a time of, you know, celebration, celebrating with others, feeling at home. Okay. Feeling that your, your hard work really has paid off here. Realizing your goal. Here's realizing your goal. Now, some of you, I mean, the four of wands is a marriage card as well. So, you know, that's a high probability here with uh, the soulmate. You could even meet them in a neighborhood here or, you know, a location, you know, something here. There's some, you know, we got somebody that's out in a park here, out in nature. Somebody who loves flowers too. There's something I love for flowers here. Okay. Okay. There's a card that wants to come out with this, uh, four of wands. Let's see. Oh, what wants to come out with this? Now, some of you Libras, if you've already found yourself in a position where 
you know you've reached a milestone, you do need to take some time to enjoy where you're at right now, okay? Because part of the problem is, for some of you Libras, is you keep tending and tending and tending and not enjoying, 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 okay? So just find balance. It's either or, okay? So put it in your situation because it is a general reading here, but let's see what else wants to come out with this four of wands here. Convey your meaning. So, okay, we got something going on with home life, people. Convey, okay, reflect on the way. So we've got another thing about reflect here. Reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. Okay, so Spirit is saying when it comes to your home life situation and when it comes to, for some of you, if you get to a place or a new neighborhood or a new home, don't be afraid to express yourself, okay? Because I do feel that this queen of wands, whether you're male or female, I'm seeing you as this heart of wands. We've been a little bit hurt here when it came to, you know, coming out. That's what I'm getting. Okay. But spirit is saying for a lot of you Libras, you know, convey your meaning. And also I'm seeing something about boundaries here too. So maybe some of you Libras, it's about saying no to, you know, uh, maybe unexpected visitors or, or visitors or people who maybe take up too much of your time here. Okay. But there could be something here with vows as well, you know, cause we do have a marriage card. So whether it's marriage or a different or not, well, could be a different level, but I was going to say a higher level of commitment. I'm seeing something about vows here. Okay. So we got something promising. Okay, let's see. What else for Libra? Two of Pentacles. So Libra, we do have a lot of changes. We do have, you know, a situation for some. Time is of an essence when it comes to priorities. I don't know why I'm getting that. But yeah, Libra, you do need to stay optimistic. And I feel, you know, you've got what it takes right now. Trust your talents. That's what I want to say is trust your talents in changing times right now, uh, Libra. Okay. You're going to get to where you need to go. So the changes are a temporary thing here. But some of you, you know, Libra, I feel that you are going to get rid of things that are burdensome to you. Let's get a little bit more with the two of pentacles for Libra. And give something time, Libra. Let's get a little bit more with this Two of Pentacles for Libra. We got Earth Energy coming through here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, the changes are occurring and you might as well just enjoy the journey, right? So, oh, nice. <laughs> We're talking about these changes. And also help is going to appear. And we even have let your friends help you, people. Okay. So there is much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift that you forget to look to the support systems that are with you continuously or continually. Hmm, Libra. So when you're finding yourself feeling a little bit out of balance, make sure you're taking some time out okay or you're looking around because spirit is saying there's help in all ways right now so don't be afraid right to convey wasn't there a thing convey your meaning <laughs> communicate what you need <clears throat> what else for libra So an excellent opportunity will be offered Libra to you. <clears throat> so either knowledge or more training or some type of pursuit, maybe a quest for some type of wisdom here. Maybe it's just um, a little bit of extra money or, or some time that you can spend to really enjoy something that you do want to dive into here. Okay. And we even have the word balance on this page of Ariel. Okay, we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming through here. So, <clears throat> time to get to work, Libra. <laughs> now, that's so funny. 
So the thing that I see for you to get to work is prioritizing balance, um, inviting and also inviting something new here. Okay. That can expand into something great here. So some of you Libras, if you have the opportunity right now, now some it's coming, there's going to be some type of opportunity, um, maybe a little like a gift of money or, you know, something that you can pursue if it, if it feels right, do it. Okay. We also have a message. Okay. There's a strong thing about messages coming in and I see it as good news here, both with the, um, eight of wands that page of Ariel. What else for Libra? Six of cups. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. We even have this thing about past life relationship and we have the ace of swords. Hmm. <clears throat> There's something about someone from the past here. Now I do see a lot of you Libras cutting out some things in the past and someone too. Oh boy. Let's get a little bit more with this uh, six of cups and the ace of swords, please. I want a little bit more. We got cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel Libra spirit. Something is going to be really true to you when it comes to, for a lot of you, it's like a, a, a like a unique, um, soulmate connection here. Okay. So some of you Libras don't be afraid uh, to spend some time alone because there's something strong uh, about you figuring things out for yourself, what feels right for you. Okay. But we do have, we do have a situation with children or nurturing something here when it comes to being childlike. Now, some of you Libras, there's a situation where you may, something may have, or it may anger you about some people or, or, or a person here. Okay. I don't, I don't know why I'm getting that, but I feel like you're going to just, but, oh man. Yeah. Cause I feel like there may be something here where you're going to see something or figure something out, but you need to have compassion here because the thing is, is it's only going to waste your time and your energy because spirit is really having you focus on staying positive and aware. Okay. But um, that's not going to be for all of you. I do feel that there's a strong soulmate here though. And Libra, I, some, someone from the past definitely could be coming in here to communicate something. Okay. And it's showing up at this Ace of Swords here. So it's a strong one. Let's, we're getting a little bit more with that too. Want a little bit more with that for Libra. Someone from your past could be returning here. So Libra, it's someone that you felt a connection with. <clears throat> I don't know how for how long or how deep here. All right, let's get a little bit more with the Six of Cups, Ace of Swords. Now, I also see a situation for a lot of you Libras that um, you've cycled out some old soulmates out of your life. So new ones are entering. I told you. <laughs> yeah. Seven of swords, seven of swords. There's a better course of action available to you, Libra. So working alone may not be the best answer right now. So review the details. So some of you Libras don't be afraid of some type of challenging truth, especially when it comes to deception. Now for some of you Libras, you're being shown a better way. Um, don't let the past, don't cling to the past or don't let past situations or people bombard you. Okay. Um, you may need to set limits with those people because right now it's about staying focused on something. Spirit is trying to get you to focus on something else, Libra. <clears throat> and also, you know, with the seven of swords here, There may be something here that spirit is saying that you may need to focus on strategizing, um, or, or looking for option options elsewhere for some, but yeah, I feel this is about getting out of your head though. So observe in silence here because some of you Libras by observing in silence, the truth will, will set you free here in a sense. Okay. Um, what else for Libra?
And also, Libra, allow others to come to you. That's what I'm getting here. Allow others to come to you. So movement of swords. Yeah, again, allow others to come to you. Someone is making movement towards you, Libra. Okay. Now, this person could have some strong air placements. Um, they're definitely going to be intellectual. They're good at problem solving, strategizing. Uh, great communicator here. Fast talker possibly for some. Okay, so we've got great movement here towards a more honest and clear direction in one's life. So that's a good thing. So some of you Libras may need to just um, honor your um, spiritual worry, warrior attitude here. Okay, do what's right. Because you guys are coming into some type of new... It is, for some of you Libras, it's, it's definitely going to be a different big change for you. Now some, it could be a lifestyle change, partnership change here, okay? But somebody is making movement towards you, Libra. So observe in silence, okay? What else for Libra? And for some of you Libras, don't be afraid to make the changes that you want to. Maybe like getting rid of old things or something like that, right? Because we're shedding the old. Hmm. Nine of Wands. I was just looking um, at that one message here. You know, we were talking about boundaries. Perimeters. Remember perimeters? Where is that perimeters card? Mm. Setting up perimeters. Wow, interesting. Because <laughs> we've got the Nine of Wands here. It's almost like... They're, they're actually like it's a little chimpanzee playing around here. So persevere, okay? Some of you just maintain some healthy boundaries right now. Don't Some of you Libras might be having a hard time communicating and saying no or saying what you really mean. Now, not all of you, but I do feel that there is some stress here for some of you Libras, maybe with a financial pinch or having to pinch financially. So stay focused uh, again on the larger goals, okay? Um, and remember that you need to enjoy where you're at right now, okay? To um, attract money, not push money. Stay strong, Libra and be playful. Remember to be playful. See, some of you Libras, this is your asset that you have, and it is a gift of yours, especially during some changing times. You know, we've got this balancing act and being playful right now, okay? But you need to honor your boundaries as well. Uh, what else? Because I'm seeing something about staying vigilant still, right? Observe in silence here. Yeah, there may be some past people, Libra, that are showing some showing a side of themselves that you need to see here so that we can really release the past and enter the new. Oh, okay, we got the two of cups. We got love. Oh my goodness. Yes, there is something strong here with a unique partnership. We got the two unicorns coming out here and the hierophant. Hierophant. That's how you're supposed to say that. The sage. We got Taurus energy, we got Cancer, we got Pisces, we got Scorpio, we got Aries. Take a risk with someone here to open yourself up to someone. Okay, Libra, this is a divine situation here. <clears throat> yes, this is a soulmate of yours. You can trust this, okay? Release yourself from things that make you feel bad about yourself or bad about love, okay? And a lot of you Libras, there is a, a true love here when it comes to a higher calling, higher knowledge. You're going to receive that. But you do need to trust that things are coming to you in unique ways as well. Okay. So some kind of new, fresh thing is going to happen in your life, Libra, that's going to give you um, the confidence you need, especially when it comes to um, relationships, okay, when it comes to um, being free, when, it, you know, free-spirited, but also very, you know, spiritual, okay, but doing something that absolutely feels right for you. Um, another thing about a, some kind of commitment <laughs> with the Four of Wands and the Sage card here. What else for Libra? Uh, 
Oh, yeah. There's an okay Libra. <clears throat> you did deal with something here. You did, you did deal with some type of rejection or you're rejecting someone, <laughs> right? Because there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going here. Time to disconnect. It's worth waiting for. Okay. So there's like a match that is being made here, Libra. So something wasn't a match. There could have been some type of, I, I don't know, I'm picking up indifference or something. Okay. There could have been a, a situation where... You know, we just evolved or outgrew someone, whatever has happened here. Because some of you Libras, you know, we even have that deception card here too. So, yeah, I can see why Spirit is saying stay optimistic about your love life, Libra. Help is going to appear in various ways. I want a little bit more with this um, unrequited love. Now, some of you Libras are, you're being asked to um, stay patient here, right? Because divine timing is working in your love life. So you've got the divine timing card. Got the Hierophant card. Give me a little bit more about the unrequited love here for Libra. Oh, wow. Yeah. See the truth, Libra. Wow. Give up the need to be right for some Libras. Okay. So spirit's like, wow. Yeah. See the truth. Signs are showing you about something or, you know, you might be giving your time, your energy to something that is just, a, you know, just a waste right now. Okay. Now, some of you, you're seeing the truth here of what you really do want to give your time and your energy to. Okay. So, wow. What else for Libra? Okay, a situation has ended, yeah, and you're finally free, Libra. So new opportunities for happiness will now follow. Okay, I know that this may have been very difficult for some of you Libras because I was getting a sense of feeling like rejected or having to go through, you know, feeling um, maybe unworthy or maybe even for some there could have been like a, you know, feeling like someone else, you were cho someone else chose somebody else or, you know, third party situation here. Anyhow, new opportunities for happiness will now follow. Thank God. <laughs> now that you've hit rock bottom. I mean, look at this, but look at this ballerina. Take a bow, take a bow, because look at this spirit is saying time for celebration. Take a bow. You can put the past behind you because happiness will now follow. Ten of Swords is a painful ending here. Some of you Libras may need to walk. Okay, I'm glad that this Ten of Swords came up here. <clears throat> for some of you Libras, I will say you may need to watch out, okay, for some. Okay, we could have some backstabbing people here for some, okay? Um, all right, let's see. What else for Libra? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how Spirit is helping you, Libra. How is Spirit helping Libra? Libra, Spirit is helping you guys honor that, you know, your difference here. There's something very different and unique about you, and Spirit wants you to honor that. That's what makes you so beautiful. Okay, so how is Spirit helping Libra? Hanging in there, too. Oh, yeah, I'm Libra, replacing what was lost, okay? Spirit is absolutely helping you, guiding you too, protecting you. You now have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start a new Libra. So create with new perspective or outlook, because this card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon. So Spirit is helping a lot of you Libras trust and feel your way through here, okay? I am seeing star card energy. I'm also getting this thing where a lot of you Libras, um, something is shifting here when it comes to new awareness, okay? Uh, new perspective as well. Spirit is replacing what's lost for you, Libra. 
and gentle moderation. And remember, when it comes to love, I mean, <laughs> it's going to happen here, okay? But some of you Libras may need to let go, right, of a past situation or a past, like, love that, you know, has ended here because something better is on the horizon. Take your time. Pressure, okay, Libra, this is, oh my goodness, listen. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you're trying to accomplish. Don't be afraid to renegotiate if you need to. It's all about gentle moderation, okay? So Spirit is helping you guys figure out your perimeters, okay? <laughs> and get things moving here. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care, Libra.